se dešao, jeste bolesni. Zatvorite vrata. I zaključajte. Dobro, čemu panika? Šta se desilo? Morate da ih zaustavite. Koga? Ne smije biti dopušten. Gospodin, o čemu pričate? Ne smijete dopustiti da ode odavde. Gospodin, to je samo suje veliko. Pa znate šta se desilo? Desit će se opet! Molim vas, smirite se, gospodin, to su gluposti. Neće biti vremena za smirenje. Neće biti ničega, samo smrt. Ponekad ne mogu da verujem da je ovo 21. vek. Otac Radomir. Jes. Jesi ti izgleda. Here we go. Money top. Don't worry, I'm not going to ruin your beautiful icing. There we are. Don't get candles. I've got them. Go and get your coat on. The high profile operation was launched after figures showed a further surge in the number of people attempting to smuggle themselves into the UK. Sometimes as many as 20 or 30 board a single lorry in Eastern Europe and remain concealed for up to three days without food or sufficient air. Officials use two dogs and... <laughs> Oh, there you are, Cannon. Must you come frolicking into the hall like a Labrador every time I come home? Did you enjoy the service? What's that supposed to mean? I believe the presenter added a new composition of his own music today. Yes, when I heard it, I gave thanks to God that I was born tone deaf. Any urgent business? Well, the Reverend Julian Capstick from St. Clement's rang. He's received the remains of a man deceased abroad. The undertakers won't touch it for some reason. Why, it's not contagious? No. He's believed to have had some sort of accident. It's all a bit hazy. He wants permission to hold him in the church for a couple of days. You can prop him up in a corner of the vestry for all I care. It's nearly time for the archers. Oh, and uh, one of the stonemasons dropped in with this. They're in town to repair the floor of the sacristy, and they found a much older flagstone underneath. They couldn't read the Latin inscription, so they took a rubbing to pass on to you before they covered it up with the new slabs. Has anyone else seen this? Oh, no. There's a sign blocking the area off. Shall I switch the radio on? What? And you mentioned you wanted to listen... Just go away, please. Right. Well, I'll leave you then. I just wanted to see how to write an advertisement. I'm looking for work as a cleaner. Look, oh, it's that easy. All you have to do is fill out one of these forms. Get most of my work from these places. What you have to do helps cleaning you? Yes, I've done it before. Yeah. Experienced domestic cleaner. How much an hour? I don't know. Four pounds fifty per hour. Just need your name. Nina. Just me now. Yeah. And me. I. I. And me. And your phone number? Have you got a phone? Yeah. Might make a note of that number myself. Give you a call sometime. You got any friends here? No. You got one now? There you go. Customer in no time. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. But you never know, you might hear from me. Yeah, thanks.
put a hat on. No, I'll look ridiculous. No, you won't. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kevin. Happy birthday to you. Wait, get it all. Ah. Uh, okay then. So we've uh, well we've done the cake thing. It's such a misery. It's his birthday. Oh, we know. What time you booked the stripper? <laughs> He's kidding. Yeah, she's actually a hooker. What's a hooker? Part of a rugby team. Are you going to blow out the candles, Kevin? <laughs> Yay! Okay, now you've got to cut the cake and make a wish. Kevin. Is he Kevin. Check the radios. Mm. Kevin, put the knife down. Mum. It's all right, Susie. It's all right. Give me the knife, Kevin. It's not safe. Right, let's go into the kitchen and see if we can find some crisps. Come on. Where was the blood? There. Joey! <clears throat> there's, uh, there's nothing showing up. It's just raspberry jam. Huh. False alarm, then. Right, then. Who's for past the parcel? Hello there. How did you get in? I must have left the back door open too long, mustn't I? Now then, who do you belong to? Let's see, you're... I'm going mad. Oh, I'm so pleased to see you. 
Oh. Hello. Let me look at you. What am I looking at? It's a readout. From? You know those um, things they used to measure car emissions in the air? I've tricked one up to have a, a massively wider chemical spectrum. So? That line is a time axis. Just about there, it's something like 9.05. See that little blip? That could be anything. Mm -mm. It's a definite blip. Somebody could have jogged the machine. I mean, you could have picked up that aftershave you bought yourself in. I'm telling you, it's something. Good morning. Well, am I allowed to come in? What do you want? I think you'd prefer it if I spoke about this inside. I presume you've never heard of double glazing. This keeps out a lot more. There's been a death. Oh, yes. A 71-year-old woman lying on the floor of her hallway having struck her head. A neighbour could get no response from the house first thing this morning and reported the matter directly to me and to no one else. Wouldn't you normally tell me that was likely to be a regrettable but not unusual accident? The body was completely drained of blood. The woman was my sister. What's this got to do with me? When matters of this kind involve one's nearest and dearest, it puts quite a different complexion on things. I would have thought that you, of all people, would have understood that. I'm hardly likely to forget. Indeed. So, you expect me to help you repress the truth once again and land myself with another murder charge? No, Mr. Strange. On this occasion, I would like you to find the truth. Is there any reason why I should ever consider doing this? In the Cathedral Library, there are certain volumes containing assorted mumbo-jumbo that might appeal to your rather eccentric taste for bizarrery. You could occasionally be granted access in the interests of academic study, of course. You've got a nerve. I'll give you that. I have many pressing engagements this morning. Are you interested or are you not? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Sorry about that. It's the damp. Been meaning to get it fixed. Is, but... is Joey at school? Of course. I've been doing some tidying up. Came across my old research notes. I don't know why I'm hanging on to them, really. There's not much chance of me getting back to that. Is this something that can wait? I suppose so. What's up? We've got ten minutes before Black calls the doctor. Well... Well, what? It's a pretty common thing, pensioners falling over. We get hordes of them in every month. The doctor will issue a death certificate, no problem. The loss of blood. That's hardly a mystery, is it? She struck her head on the floor as she fell. With a gash of that size, 
It would just flood out. So she wasn't discovered. She'd bleed to death in less than an hour. So where are the blood stains? Hmm? Have you ever seen such a clean floor? Must have gone somewhere. Somebody wiped it up? Why? So what happened to the dog? Didn't you notice? Right by the house. You say the door was locked? Yeah. The neighbour had to call Black to get this. Does anyone else have a key? Only the cleaner. She hasn't been in since Monday. So now what? Let's see if the neighbour's got her address. Hello there. Hello. Are you a relative of the deceased? No, I was just looking for someone I knew, but this is not the person. Well, perhaps I can help. I think I know most of our guests in this part of the churchyard pretty well. What was the name? I really have to go now. Well, if I can help sometime, just call in at the vicarage over there. Thank you. I was just driving past, I saw you in there. Can I give you a lift somewhere? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to. Were you visiting somebody you knew? So how's the postcard doing? You getting any work? A little. Great. You had breakfast? Julian Capstick from St. Clement's again. What does he want this time? It's the remains he's been storing. Well, he'll tell you. Julian, hello. Don't touch it. Just leave it where it is. Don't go near it again until you hear from me. You must have some idea what it is. I've told you, I expanded the range. I didn't have the footprint of every chemical emission it could pick up. Well, then what use is it? I thought you were supposed to be a geek. A cyber geek, not a science geek. I miss my physics juice. You see, I go see a Jim Carrey film. Oh, well, as long as you didn't completely waste your time. I think most photosynthetics are in this range. Think you can identify it? It wasn't really my field. Becky Klein did most of the research into bioemissions. I'm not sure if she's still at the same lab. Anything we can find out will help. All right, I'll give her a ring. And if that fails, we can always fall back on Toby's specialist knowledge. He can do his impression of Ace Ventura pet detective. John, Cannon Black's never come to you before. I mean, what does he want in all this? He could be trying to set you up like he did last time. Well, this time, if we can prove what's going on, he'll have to listen. Well, they'll be doing the post-mortem now. There could be some medical explanation to all of this. Well, you saw what happened to Kevin last night. I saw his reaction. I didn't see any actual physical evidence. Well, you know what it means when he picks up something. But you said it yourself. It's proof we need here. We've got to use proper scientific method. What? You remember what Sherlock Holmes said? When you've eliminated the impossible, what remains, however improbable, must be the truth. Well, the same applies to this. We haven't got any actual evidence of a demon here. You see this? 
This is one of the first things I put up when I used to glue them to the wall. It's a fragment of an engraving dating from the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It was believed to have been part of a warning for visiting clergy to the remotest parts of the Balkans. And what's happening in it? The only text surviving is the title, Dubik. Dubik? Roughly translated, it means blood eater. I've been doing this place up when I can afford it. The whole place was riddled with dry rot, wet rot, everything. I'll get on with a bit in between jobs. Where are you from? Herzegovina. I thought so. Oh, don't worry, I don't care how you got here. I was serving when the Serbs got kicked out. Followed them into the territory. Mm. Yeah. Well, I disbanded the regiment three months later. Had to fall back on my trade. You were on your own? Yes. All right. All right, I'll get the message. You know what I can never work out? It's why you lot pick on this place to come to. Why not? Get out of here, you bastards! Don't make the way you come from! Who are you looking at? We'll get you! The gorilla's gone now. My name's Strange. I got your address from Mrs. Fortune's neighbor. It's all right. I don't mean you any harm. I'm looking for Mrs. Fortune's cleaner. I have the money she owes you. if you need to. Yeah, all right, but Sorry about that, I've got a job on. I need to get to the timber merchant for some ply. Did you make this? Yeah, it's rubbish. I was just mocking about. You can have it if you like. Thanks. Can I give you a lift somewhere? Oh, no. You're not thinking of making me redo it with Laura Ashley, are you? Not exactly, no. How did you get on? No reply at the door. There could be someone in there. It's difficult to tell. Did you speak to your friend at the lab? Yeah, she thinks she should strip it right back for a lime dope sort of effect. She may be able to make a few investigations, but not until tomorrow morning. I got it! Seriously, what's with the wall? Well, is that your only copy? Yes, why? Well, it feels like... The adjacent one is, is pasted over the edge of this and not the other way around. There could be a bit more of it underneath. Toby, this glue used on this, can we get something that to get it Kevin. off? Something's up at St. Clement's. Well, there we go. Maybe I'll see you again sometime. Maybe. Bye then. Bye. How to have a biscuit? No. It's tea time soon. Oh. All right. Just one there, OK? Here. Thank you.
I did try and tell the canon there was something unsatisfactory about the whole thing. Apparently he's only living relatives in a nursing home in Scotland. And she expressed a wish that he should be buried down here, where the other family members are. I was just hanging on to the remains until the appropriate arrangements could be made. Who was he? Um, some sort of surveyor, I believe. Forests, was it? But when it broke open... Well, you'll see for yourself. Um, I suppose I should have contacted you earlier. I was very sorry to hear about Helen. You were going to be married, weren't you? Only I lost my Margaret at round about the same time. And I was sorry to hear that. Yes, well, better not to dwell on the past, eh? Possibly. Somebody must have. I mean, he was lying right there when I telephoned the cannon this morning. Really? Yes, he, he, he was most insistent that nothing should be touched. Is this how it was? No lining? That's right, now you come to mention it. it must have been that that upset the undertakers. What are you looking for? I don't know. I suppose I'd better telephone the cannon again. I'll save you the trouble. Where is he? I really can't disturb Get him. out of the way! No, you can't go in there! Mr. Strange, do come in. Don't stand on ceremony. I tried to stop him. Yes, thank you, Doddington. He does his best. But I fear they're skimping on martial arts training for the clergy these days. Let's cut the crap! What have you done with it? You have the advantage of me, I'm afraid. Oh, don't give me that. I can't believe I bought that story of yours about wanting to find out the truth about your sister. Ah, yes, I've been meaning to tell you. According to the doctor who examined her this morning, there is a rare circulatory condition that causes the blood to be absorbed into the system after the heart stops. So you see, the mystery is explained. Would you like to see the death certificate? I just spoke to Julian Capstick. He told you there was another body with the same signs. News travels fast around here, it would seem. What have you done with it? I haven't done anything with it. In any case, it sounded nothing more than advanced decay brought on by the long journey in a pressurized aircraft cabin. Oh, how very convenient. Of course, we shall reimburse you for any out-of-pocket expenses you may have incurred. I hear the price of garlic is shocking these days. Now that you've got what you want from your crooked doctor, you think that's the end of it? There's going to be others. You can't spirit away every body that turns up. As you say, Mr. Strange, I think that is the end of the matter. Doddington! Mr. Strange has previous experience of finding the way out. outside for you. Thanks, thank you, darling. You're lovely. Put them in water or they die. <sighs> All right. Only if you promise to do something quiet so I can concentrate. There we go. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, they use cheap softwood for these. It tends to swell up in the dump. Mm. How much do I owe you? Oh, call it a fiver. You need a decent bit of hardwood on this. I mean, this does wheat a bit in six months. Yeah, look, my skirting board's been on its last legs for ages. Well, I can replace that bit. No problem. How much measure up? Yeah, sure. Won't be today, man. I'd like to get home before it's dark. <laughs> I'll give you a ring, all right? Yeah, thanks. Uh, you saw this will work? Look, I stripped my wallpaper with it. Save the bundle on our in one. Hello? I knew I had it here somewhere. What? A guy in Boston published a paper a while back. It's in one of the journals. Now, he was doing research into the effects of certain chemicals on the brain. 
following on from the LSD experiments in the 50s. So? He sets down the chemical signatures of the stimulants he was using. Now, I'm not sure, but I think they're similar to the ones on Toby's printout. I gave that to Becky. But if it's true, it might be relevant. What do you think? See if you can find out anything else. Any progress on the picture? No, not yet, but I'll let you know. I know what you thought. It was all a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. I should have come back before, but I didn't want to shock you. And then, tonight, I couldn't wait any longer. Margaret, I can't believe it. Joey, sweetie, come on, wake up. Come on, it's time for your breakfast. I'm sleepy. And I'm grumpy, so let's look for the other five dwarves. Mm. Hello? Becky? No, 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 I've been awake for ages. What's up? Uh-huh. Well, that's what I was expecting. Look, Becky, can you do me another favour? Can you check and see if a guy called Masterton from the University of Massachusetts has published any more papers recently on neural receptor stimulation? Mm-hmm. I'll tell your mother I'll introduce you to a nice doctor. <laughs> OK, bye. I don't want to get up. Come on, it's a lovely day. I take it there's some reason you're allowing me to see this before you dispose of it like the other one? I told you I have absolutely no idea where that went. I want the situation brought to a close before there is any lurid speculation into the circumstances of my sister's death. This missing 
body. What do we know about it? His name was Barry Sturgis. He met his end whilst working abroad. Where? No. I'll tell you. Somewhere in the Balkans. Right? Herzegovina. You just better pray this can be brought to a close. I have always believed that prayer is the last resort of the desperate, Mr. Strange. Hey. Oh, hello. Where's John? I've just got him myself. Don't know where he's gone. Well, I've just heard back from Becky Klein. You know that reading we took? It's definitely what I thought it was. And the range is consistent with studies into neural receptors. I'm trying to find out more. Would this help? It happened last night. Much stronger than the first time, but it's in the exact same range. Is this everything? Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe John's left a note. What on earth is that in the air? Hello? Is there anybody there? Some of the lads been itching to get a brick for it ourselves. You had it coming, bloody asylum seekers! Sorry to disappoint you, but this was broken from the inside. That's the glass that it made. Yeah, well, I've got time to worry about bloody foreign parasites. Come on. Слушай ме! Слушай! Я съм дошъл да помогнем! Покушавам да наджием дуби! Може да не че бити доволино времена. Ако желите да заоставите убияние... Явите ми се! Should only take half an hour with that. Terrific. See you. John, I've been trying to get in touch with you all morning. There's been another. Now look, I don't know exactly what's going on, but it looks like it could be associated with this chemical phenomena. Maybe it's some kind of rare condition. Oh, you're beginning to sound like black. But don't you see? He may have only called you in because there's an entirely scientific explanation to all of this. You saw that picture. A pair of feet in the air. So what should we be looking for instead? Some kind of human flying... Yeah, that's entirely possible. The Dracula legends must be based on something. Come on, you can't seriously be suggesting that there's some kind of Dracula... We, we need to track down that cleaner. She's from the same place that the original body came from. She must know something. John... Has it ever occurred to you that not everything terrible that happens necessarily comes from a demon? Has it ever occurred to you that a demon could well entrap its victims using some kind of chemical phenomenon? And how would it do that? 
when you said it acts on the brain. I suppose it makes its victims think it's something else till it's too late. I want them in my bedroom. Oh, no, darling, not flowers, not at night time. Why? They're all right during the day, but when it gets dark, flowers give off. Darling, go to bed. I'll be there in a minute. Go on. I hate having a nurse for Mum. Is anybody here? Can I help you? Sorry, the door was open. You're Bill Morrison? Yeah, that's me. I saw you at the hospital, yeah? I wanted to ask you about the sort of woodwork you do. All right, sure. I'll just put something on. I've just finished work. Let me sit down. Okay, okay. Where is he? He, he called up. He said he was going to some house. We've got to get in touch with him. The do because in two minutes. A tree. For two centuries, the Dubik's branches held executed bodies of the condemned. Its roots fed on their damned blood. The years passed, and the evil grew. And soon, the Dubik grew thirsty for the taste once more. Anyone wandering the forest at night would be consumed by the strange madness. The Dubik would conjure up the images of their dead, to draw them closer. Once they were ensnared, it would feed. Who 
What sort of wood is this? Oh, it's beautiful timber. It's, it's a Gavinian. I was stationed there during the Serb retreat. That's when I first noticed it. The Herzogs made the coffins out of it. I'm going to make some tea. Do you want some? No, thanks. When the forester came, I tried to warn him. But he dared visit the forest at night. And he paid the price. I warned them not to cut the dubik and not to take it to a place where the evil can continue. But they ignored me. That's why we came here, secretly, to try and find it. But I met a carpenter. who helped me get work while we were here. All this time we were looking for the forester's body, knowing that if we find it, we are looking in the right place. Yesterday we were sure. But we were told the forester's body had vanished. Whoever told you that was lying. I saw the body being removed from the church. We thought that the search for the wood would be hopeless. Until last night. I couldn't sleep after seeing the body. And when I opened my eyes, I saw him in front of me. It was the carving that the carpenter gave me. It was made of dubit wood, and it was tricking me. I had a piece of that wood in my flat. I ripped it out just in time. The carpenter used dubit wood all over his house. It's death to anyone who enters after the sunset. John. It's gone wild this time. Sorry about that. This is a job you've got on you. This hurts the Gavinian wood. How much of it have you used? Well, I put a couple of new floorboards in for a woman. I used a bit on a skirting job. And this? You said a skirting job. For the girl I saw you with at the hospital. Plus all the, all the work here, of course. Here? Yeah, well, you probably noticed I've replaced most of the boards, done the stairs, banisters, everything. You're not real. But what is real? After all, it's all in the mind, isn't it? to say to a girl you're allowed to be killed by a demon? I didn't... I didn't allow it. I just... I couldn't prevent it. Isn't that the same thing? I tried to stop him. I've still got the wound on my back he gave me. Is that the only wound? He got away, didn't he? He got away after killing the woman you were going to marry. Do you miss me, John? Do you really miss me? Stop it. I miss you, John. I miss you a lot. Please. Don't do this. Wouldn't you like to touch me one more time? Wouldn't you like to hold me?
you see in there? Nothing. the last of this stuff. What will you do now? I think we'll go back. My grandmother and I have something to return to. The only evidence we had that we could have shown Black that was destroyed when the house went up. And what I can't figure out is why he told us he didn't destroy the forester's body. Suggesting something demonic exists is against everything he's ever done. Don't try to figure it out, John. It just isn't worth it. that back in there at once. I was just looking away the financial record. Of course, you didn't see that because I destroyed it since it was completely worthless. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. What is it? It is the reason I have just gone to considerable trouble keeping Mr. Strange interested in another matter until the stonemasons had left town. Did you read any of this? Well, no, I just glanced. Do you remember anything? Nothing. Good. Just the word asmoth. I didn't now listen to me. If you repeat that word to a living soul, I will personally rip off your testicles, assuming they develop. And I will publicly feed them to you at a vicarage tea party, is that clear? Yes. Yes, of course. I just don't understand, I only saw one word. This inscription suggests that prior to the first cathedral being built on this site, it was believed to be the place of earthly manifestation for a devil named Asmoth. I see. You do not see. Asmoth is the name of the so-called demon that John Strange claimed caused the death of his fiancée. Strange next Saturday is at the earlier time of five past ten here on BBC One. No excuses! I want what's mine and what will you owe me? When self-defence becomes murder and you're left with a body of evidence. Do you know Ronnie Brown? What do you do? Murder in Mind, tomorrow at nine on BBC One.